Hey guys, how was your day? Mine was about the worst day I've had in a long time, and I'll just tell you a little bit about it briefly, but I'm not going to go into super big detail. Um, I lost my job today. Not the restaurant job, but the insurance job. We all know I wasn't too knocked out about it, but uh, that doesn't make it any less of a blow, and it doesn't make it any um, like less out of left field or harder to deal with. I am stuck in a position where I have to um, find new gainful employment again, which frustrates me. I've worked for this company for four years, but um, it was not necessarily through fault of my own. My boss also lost her job. Um, basically, they closed our local office uh, and decided they were going to go a different route. Um, without giving too much away, I think a large portion of that has to do with the amount of sales in the area and some other things that I probably am not even allowed to talk about. I don't know. And I'm not going to talk about it. <clears throat> um, and then on top of that, uh, my mom got sick and that's not my place to give any more details about, but it's just been a stressful day. So, uh, that's why we're sitting in my extra room in the cold with my Ruger boy, probably, yep, yeah, right on the other side of the door there. I got it cracked open so that he can come in here if he wants, but he's just gonna stay out there and whine. Um, I think that my tripod is still at the office. I have to go tomorrow to get all my personal belongings. Um, so I just got you propped up right now, which again is why we have to use this front facing view, the not so great view on the camera. So I'm trying to look at you, but I probably am going to continue to look at myself because it is what it is. But anyway, the video I wanted to record today and uh, we're still going to record it, but we're going to do it in the dark um, is I just wanted to give like a weekish in. I want to do these on Sunday, but that's just not how life is working right now, but a week-ish in on the resolutions. So I've got my resolution list in front of me and I'll just like briefly run through that. So um, haven't told my dude about YouTube yet. Uh, I actually haven't really had the opportunity or maybe I have and that's just an excuse, but I'm, I'm, just, I'm not ready. I'm building myself up to it. There are a couple times I almost told him, but I haven't yet. <laughs> so I definitely haven't lost a hundred pounds, but I've lost six. <laughs> so we're getting somewhere. Um, and again, like I said, a hundred pounds might be like kind of out there, uh, but it's, it's something to shoot towards, which I think is, it is okay. I'm okay with it. Um, and we'll reassess when we need to. How do you like this Iron Maiden poster right here? We like it. Uh, that turkey tail right there, my dude got with his bow and arrow, his compound bow this year. It's his first turkey with a bow and his first male turkey, Tom turkey, and he mounted it. <clears throat> Don't you love your hair on wash day? Anyway, um, okay. Daily chores, I have been about 70% good on. I um, haven't done the floors every day. Uh, and last night I didn't do the dishes and they're still sitting in there waiting for me to do them. And it is 9.37 PM and I'm going to film this and then get my exercise ring closed and then edit this and get it up. And then I'll probably wash dishes while I'm doing some baking because I'm kind of like, elevated right now and I need to just bake so five arrows a day got put on hold hold not hold um I believe that I explained that in my last video but my dude's got something coming for me it's a brass I can't remember what it's called I used to know kiss kisser bead or something anyway it's like a little brass bead that you crimp on the string and then um you it it's it'll solve my issue basically so he's got that coming and whatever else he needs for that and we already know it's coming and once that gets here we'll go with the arrows uh been doing great on the water probably thinking about increasing it by like maybe 20 ounces because i probably could i probably have i just always quit like tallying it once i meet my goal <laughs> I would say probably 60 to 70% of my meals, I do my 10 minute walk after. Um, I've gotten a daily video out so far. This will be the 12th day in a row. Actually the 13th, right? Because we did one on the 31st of December, but that's not part of the deal. Um, so that's good. I have been, 
yeah, 60 to 70% on the hair, skin, and nails. No, hair, skin, hair care, and night routine situation. I'm kind of getting myself back used to that. But since I started the bakery, I've been putting in long, late nights and not even necessarily on purpose, but like I'm, I'm pretty prone to insomnia. So then I'm like, well, I gotta go to bed. Ruger, come here, buddy. Come here. Just a second, we gotta get the dog. Come on here. Here, Chris not gonna be crying when I come to the video. This hoodie is the literal first hoodie I ever owned. Um, and a friend of mine in high school bought it for me at a at the state drama competition in 2002. And there's like paint on it from art class. So yeah, my friend and I were painting like, we did this KISS records project where we bought all these records and then, um, we painted like every album cover onto them and then put them in this like, kind of jukebox thing and then got first place at the art symposium it was pretty cool and her dad has that and then I have like a few of the records that we didn't put on there in my office I might have shown you on one of my office home office videos anyway so um close the three rings daily I have done that every single day except for two days ago Saturday so the 8th um, we had to go to the grocery shopping town. I guess that was the day. Ooh, I think it was the 8th. And I, um, yeah, cause then, cause then I came home and I made the Spider-Man cupcake cake and I forgot to like, I probably did get that many active minutes, but I forgot to like turn my watch on and make sure that I got them. Um, <clears throat> so I, one of my three rings didn't close that day, the green one, but that's it. That's all of them. Um, haven't done any yoga. That's okay. Uh, no new outfits yet. I got some new, like, black leggings in the mail, but that doesn't really count. That's kind of like when you buy socks. You gotta have them. <laughs> uh, dental hygiene. I've been on it. On it. Probably maybe a little too much, but yeah. Um, Instagram has been on the back burner for me, which is usually my favorite social media platform. So, um, I think I'm going to, I'm kind of trying to decide, like, I've got my bakery on Facebook because I think that's, I am staring at myself and not you. I am so sorry. I've got my bakery on Facebook. Um, so I think I'm going to do my, like, the rest of my interests on Instagram, like I had been doing. So I just need to get back in the swing of things and that's okay. Um, the bakery itself, Bakehouse Co., it's like, it doesn't, I don't have to put any effort into it. I just have to po post pictures of what I'm making and then somebody orders something for me. It's crazy. I hope I can keep that momentum up and I know I can't count on that. I probably need to um, uh, plan on having to push it at some point. I'm waiting on some candy colors to come in. I've talked a little bit about wanting to um, do the test box or whatever for my treat box that I'm going to offer on that for Valentine's and so I can take pictures. I'm waiting on my candy colors to come in so I can get that made. Um, I got a notification yesterday that the package was late, should have been here today and it wasn't so I got to find out what's up with that. Today was not the day for me to be thinking about that though. Um, assisting ATC. After the events of today, I will be calling that man in the morning. I saw him at the grocery store recently and he was slightly inebriated. So I did not think it was necessary to start that conversation up with him. But in the morning, we'll be calling him work at home transition. <sighs> I would love to work from home. I think right now I kind of have to, I have to accept that, that has to go on the back burner. Wake up early. Um, I have been waking up to my alarm that's a step in the right direction instead of hitting snooze a thousand times. So the experiences like the chiropractor, deep tissue massage, that kind of thing, we I haven't done, but my dude wants to go on like a mini vacation for like two days to a hotel that has a spa, like um, maybe in Colorado or something next month. Uh, so I'm gonna count that. <laughs> If uh, hopefully we get to do it, well, um, I talked to my boss for the restaurant, and she um, 
she was just like, I'm not gonna let you struggle. She understands that I don't, that's not what I want out of my life anymore, but that she knows that I'm good at it and I'm good for it. And um, she's like, I'm not gonna let you struggle. I'll do what I need to do to help you at least be able to pay your bills. So I can calm down on that a little bit, um, but still. Uh, downsizing, we're working on remodeling each room. We're making plans, but we're not ready to do that yet. Grow food, same deal. Uh, I wanted to, with my middle of the month paycheck, put a seed order in. I don't know if we can do that now. I will see once the rest of the bills are paid for the month and where I think I'll be sitting for the beginning of next month, if I can allocate funds to that. And Cause I wanna make a video going through the um, Baker Creek seed catalog and stuff. Complete projects nothing yet um, and dogs trained we've been working on some things so that's just a brief little update and I'll just talk to you a little more about the <clears throat> work situation I guess um, it's soon it's too soon to make a real decision right um, my boss is really upset I've been trying to be there for her and um, she has other goings on and might be able to keep me on for s extremely part-time like assistant situation and if that's the case I would be happy to help her um, as much as I like to stress out about her she's a, one of the best bosses I've ever had and I really care about her as a person and I'm devastated for her um, as far as me I have many opportunities uh, I'm fortunate that I was able to contact three people today and I have a, like a potential for a job with all three of those people. Um, and there's more, even more places I could go. Um, so kind of the picking's mine, maybe a little bit. Uh, it scares me about bills because that's how I am, but that's okay. No crying, please. My dude just got his wood duck back from the taxidermist and it's up on the top shelf and my poor Ruger boy wants it so bad. I'll take you over there after a bit and I'll show you to it. Um, I am going to apply for a couple of bill assistant things for the next like month or two. I don't like doing that, but I think that that's necessary. Um, I just don't want to be being stupid about it and I don't want to be in a position where we're like maybe gonna lose our home or something because of it. So yeah. But uh, I'm in generally good spirits, um, way better than I thought I would be about it. That might change after I get some sleep. We'll see, who knows. Like I said, tomorrow I'm going to the office to get my personal effects. I was going to do that today, but uh, I thought it was more important to help my mom. So I'll do it tomorrow. I'm the only person with keys to the building. I asked my boss if there was gonna be like some issue with me stealing and she said no, because she owns everything in there that's not mine, so. Um, and she trusts me implicitly. And I guess she's not my boss anymore. Now she's just my friend. Uh, kind of a weird way to look at things, but we have to move forward. We're leveling up and it might be a blessing in disguise in like many ways that we would have never thought of. So for one, like the reality of the situation is there was no way I was gonna walk away from her. Um, as much as I like dreamt about it, I was just gonna work for her forever until she died basically because she wasn't gonna retire. So now that decision's been made for us, um, which opens a lot of doors, I think. Um, and there's one in particular that I can't really talk to you about right now, but I might be able to in the near future or the like quasi near future. Definitely within the next like six months if it happens. And if not, we'll just forget I even said anything, but um, yeah, which if that door opens, many more will open too. So, We'll see. Anyway, anyway, that's that. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Um, I'm gonna show you this wood duck and then I'm gonna go get my rings closed. Um, and then I'll get this edited and out to you. So awesome possum, keeping my chin up and I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Pretty cool, huh? He got that wood duck last year and around here it's a, not a very common duck to see. So he asked me if I was okay with him spending the money on getting it 
mounted and I said do it and he took it to the taxidermist and it took sorry this long to get it back but it's beautiful it is beautiful and look how little but it's gorgeous yeah so yeah that's cool and that's the bow he got the turkey with it's a PSE and bark John Dudley styles and he loves it and the end bye forever So that's cool. Hairs up my nose.